Ladies and gentlemen, DK Oldies is still tripping. Oh, you crazy. I mean, what is going on? Haven't they got the message? I guess they got some of the message. I guess controversy does create cash, huh? Well, I want to help you save cash and not at DK Oldies. We're going to talk about why your local video game store is so much better than DK Oldies. Let's talk about it. So guys, if you are new here, this is your first time on the channel. Thank you so much for giving me part of your day. On this channel, I love to talk about video games. We go video game hunting, we talk about collections, we go to Goodwill's, Pawn Shops, Spirit Stores, and a lot more. And also, we travel the world game hunting, guys, especially on this year. So, and if you like stuff like that, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications on your cell phone and on YouTube. DK Odies. <laughs> it's been a topic for the last two, maybe three months now. What is up with this company, guys? I made a video about other alternatives to DK Oldies. And in this video, I want to tell you why your local video game store is 10 times better than DK Oldies. Starting off with the first one. You can see the video games and the systems in person. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You can see all the video games in person. You don't have to look online. You don't have to worry if you're buying a video game system and see if it's refurbished. You won't have your system showing up at your home, dust, nasty, roaches, whatever, or your game's not clean, that no one work, or then fake. You won't see that. So that's why you should support your local video game store. Also, your local video game stores, like mine's Found Electronics, they have a great website and you can actually FaceTime them or you can get on the phone and buy that product and get it shipped to you or pick it up on the way to the store. You can't do that at DK Oldies. Here is another thing guys. I made a video a while ago and it's still popular for a lot of people. The best video game stores in Texas. Guys, one thing I said about this video is that you can make personal relationships with the stores you go to. All the stores I go to, no, I visit every store. I make a personal relationship. I don't make it like this store versus this store, which is really dumb because so many different game stores are out there to go to and you make relationships. I have had some stores and say, hey, Steve, I know you've been looking for this. It just came in. Do you want this? I mean, that is great and it's not because i got a youtube channel anything like that no it's because i spend money at these stores and i build relationships and i absolutely love on these people and they love on me back we talk about personal stuff we build a friendship and a relationship but also but with that you gotta know the line between business and personal don't cross that line guys because you do not want to mix business and personal they have a business to run, but also you want to build your collection up and don't be greedy. It's that's a whole different video. But now here's my favorite part about DK Odie's and your local video game store. One thing, the trade in credit is 10 times better. You know what? I think you might get even better credit at GameStop. Till no, till no, no, no. Sometimes. But the trading credit is very good at different stores. Now, not every video game store is going to have superior trade credit. Now, if you have like five video game stores in your area, each of them are going to do a little bit different. But it's going to be a lot better than DK Otis. I am positive. Let's check some of this style out from DK Otis. Look at this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at DK Otis website, what they're selling. Now, to be fair, on here when we look at this they have adjusted their prices right look today is a 24. they had updated the price today on a 24. so these videos are working so dko shout out to you guys for actually upping some of these prices but what you sell them for you know it's still kind of crazy but i i will say in defense of them Take advantage of this because look at this right now. The Nintendo 64, that will give you $48. Now, one of my local stores will actually give me like $60. So you have to see what your local store gets and then what the Kaola gets. But 
I would not advise buying systems from them because all these videos that we've been seeing, these guys don't take care of the system. So going back to my old saying, so going back to what I was saying is that buy at your local video game store. But know when you buy here, <laughs> what you gonna get? Let's look at a Game Boy original. Okay, do we see the systems on here? I don't see the systems right quick. I see, look, Castlevania 2, Castlevania Legends, which Castlevania Legends is like a $400 game, so even more probably. I don't see it on here. Okay, let's close that. Let's go to my favorite, the Wii U. The white Nintendo Wii U. You get $90. That's probably the same amount that some of the stores do give you, but also it depends on the stock also. So if a local video game store has like a hundred we use, you're not gonna get top price for it. Look at the Super Nintendo, what they get for that. All right, here we go, y'all. This is what I'm talking about. Let's zoom in real quick to this. SNES console only. They want you to email them. Hell no. No, no, no. But going to a local video game store, you will know what they give you. And a lot of local video game stores will give you like $90, most of them. I know a couple of them will give you like between $50 and $100. But it's up to the stock of the uh, video game store, how many they have, um, if they do need it, if it's in demand, and if they know they can turn around and sell it. Y'all, you know, it's not hurt my head, hurt my head, hurt my head. All right, the Wii. Let's see how many get for the Wii. $25. You can buy a Wii at Goodwill for less than that. Really? So I guess DKO is starting to get the message, but they're totally not out the clear, guys. Some of their trading credit just wouldn't trust it, guys. You've seen what they're doing with these consoles. Don't trust it. Here's another reason why your local video game store is better than DKO is because people who are in those stores know about video games now yes you will get a couple people who are brand new maybe in the early 20s who didn't grow up with a lot of retro games i get that but let me tell you they catch on quick now when i do go to a lot of retro video game stores you will have someone there who knows absolutely everything about what you're going to buy and that's so refreshing but do you get that at dko's i don't think so like I said, the track record speaks for themselves. Look at all the videos here on YouTube about just bad customer service. Another reason why your local video game store is better than UK only is because you have so many different options, guys. You're living in a great city. Some of you guys have GameStop. Some of you guys have retro video game stores. Some places have movie stores. All of you guys have pawn shops, Goodwills, and thrift stores. I'm telling you so many times I went to Goodwill and found such an amazing game. Or I went to the thrift store, bought a game and said it may not be working, but when you get home, it absolutely works. Now something to remember with Goodwill and thrift stores, they don't have a return policy and you buy it as is, but you do get to see it. The pawn shops, a little bit lenient, they do have a lot of great systems that you can buy. So I would suggest to go find a pawn shop if you don't have these video game stores in your area, guys. But if you want to see more information about video game stores, game hunts, and all that, click or tap on the screen. And I always remember to do it the right way. And stay away from the videos.